Howdy everyone, we're back with another gear video. Today I'm doing an archery one. I'm starting my 2023 arrow build as you can see. I've got these new Black Eagle X impacts. And basically I'm just switching to kind of tinker around and test some things out this year. Previously I've shot the Day 6 HD 300s for about four years. And I've had good success with them. I've got one deer and one elk. Zero complaints about the whole thing. I, I learned so much using this setup and just tinkering around with it. It took a little bit of playing around with different broadheads, weights. But once I figured that out, they've been money for four years. Um, I've been running the same thing. This arrow is about 535 grains total. This is a 150 grain Valkyrie Blood Eagle and there's about a 50 grain insert on there so 200 total up front I think it's like 13 percent FOC they shot about 260 feet per second which I never minded and I never really felt like anything was gonna jump on me because they shot so quietly out of my bow so that is another thing I'll be testing with these is I'm curious to see if the trajectory improvement is a worthy trade-off for me if it's if they're a lot louder I don't think I'll like it but this is what we're going with this year these guys same length pretty much um, on the outserts I believe I'm gonna gain 30 grains so I'll have 230 up front I plan to use this same broadhead I love these Valkyries. So 230 up front, I think they should come out around 480 total. And that's like this carbon, carbon to carbon, these are both 27 inches. I'm a 28 or 28 and a half inch draw and I shoot 70 pounds. So that's why I got 300 spine. The other things I got here are blazer, boning, or boning blazer veins and boning arrow wraps as you can see I started out with arrow wraps but I take I took them off to shave the weight over the last couple years and I really liked gluing fletches to them and just the extra durability so I'm excited to have to be able to afford the weight with these ones to have the arrow wraps again today I'm gonna get started by putting the arrow wraps on all of these that way I have a surface to kind of mark them. So I will go give you guys a quick rundown on how I do that. And then a couple more things. Well guys, I've made a lot of false claims to start the video. <laughs> Firstly, I waited to do the wrap job until the 12th arrow and proceeded to block everything with my head that you guys needed to see so if you want to see how to do that check out my old day six arrow build I did the same kind of thing on there the same way secondly I failed to mention that I sorted my arrows by measuring the spines with a ram spine tester this is easier to do before you cut wrap and install your outserts but you can move the blocks in and still make do like I did I would just recommend to note that you want to do this very first before you cut. When I use this I will also mark this the spine by finding the stiffest side of the arrow and I'll mark that so that I can fletch each one the same way and they're all spine oriented for later with fletchings and then I can adjust this outsert up here to get the broad head aligned how it needs to be for the spine and fletchings also. So. That's everything I forgot. I think we're going to move on. Alrighty guys, we're at the arrow squaring station. As you can see, I got this screwed down, which that's a big tip for freeing up your hands. And that is so you can keep your arrow down in the groove and pressure towards the sanding disc. So we're just going to go for it. All 
Alrighty, that should do it. Tap it off. And then sometimes there's a little burr, like a curled edge. So I just kind of take the 220 grit sandpaper and I'm while spinning the arrow, I'll just kind of hit that edge so I can bevel it the opposite way. Nothing's protruding. So you do that, and then I'll just lightly hit this the actual shaft. Couple spins, and that's it. Wipe them down, and now they're ready for glue. So I just weighed up my arrows, inserts, and the outserts and set screws. And for these, all the arrows were the same. All the inserts were the same. So I'm just going to glue them up, not worry about it. And these, this big pile here, hat was about half and half, like 0.2 grains different. And these things only weigh like six grains total. So that's kind of hard to expect tighter tolerances on those. These all weighed the same. This one was different. So pretty surprised by that. No complaints at all. I'm just going to get to it and start gluing them up. Alrighty guys, we're going to glue up the final insert. First I pull the knock. Set that aside. I like these, they got the little end, flat end to grab onto. I got the glue that's from Black Eagle as they recommend. And we're just going to go for it. Try not to squeeze too much out. If you just kind of run it across the ribs, it'll pull it out and fill everything in pretty evenly. I don't... Ooh. I don't worry about getting too much up under my fingers because it'll push up there anyways by the time we get to it. So here we go. Just spin it on there. Work it on there. This is a lot of glue on this one. And whoa. wipe off all the glue. Goodness, I got too much glue on this rag here. <laughs> That is it. Okay, so the inserts have dried overnight now with the knock ins down and no knock in them so the air doesn't push out. We are just going to put it all together. I'm sure you guys can tell the outsert just goes on and this goes behind your broadhead and locks it in. Um, you get about an inch, I would say, of shaft coverage. I will measure that and put it in there. So this goes in. It actually has an Allen head and then a smaller torque head inside there, which I would assume is just in case you strip it out, a backup head or something. So that's kind of cool. So that just drops in. And... screws right in so you guys can see the the outsert is 
not spinning but I can still turn the shaft and adjust it. This one is kind of a loose one. I figured it would be the easiest to show. That goes in and later I'll be putting the broadheads in and spinning them and then adjusting the shaft and checking them. If I can get them a little straighter, I will. So stay tuned for that video. Alrighty guys, so this is the day six and two black eagles, one is disassembled. So they're all lined up at the back of the shaft. As you can see, the black eagles are like a quarter inch longer this year. Previously the broadhead was pretty much touching the shaft, which also the day sixes have an outsert. So that void is filled with a solid metal chunk that's glued to the sleeve. Whereas here, it's, this is just screwed in. This is screwed in, but I do plan to glue. Either way, I'm kind of concerned about that void there. I do like this a little bit better. And I think next year I'm just going to go full send and get the Valkyrie Jaggers where that the, the broadhead screw part right here actually comes back behind the outsert collar. So that's where I'm at with that part. Anyways, this is going to wrap up part one of the arrow build. But the part two and three videos will be up in the next few weeks. So I will catch you guys back on here um, soon. In part two, I'm going to fletch the black eagles and tune in the broadheads and then in part three i'll be doing a thousand shot review slash comparison of the two day six and black eagle so look forward to that if you have any questions or comments leave them down below and thank you guys for watching